Now I would like to welcome uh, two uh, new guests, uh, Jeremy Goldcorn, who's going to be the interviewer of, um, of uh, Chihu, the vice president of Chihu. And um, Jeremy uh, is the co-founder and the editor-in-chief of danway.org, and we're going to spend plenty of time with him and his guest uh, during uh, today and, and tomorrow. Welcome, Jeremy. So, Hi. Hi. How are you? Um, so, Stephen. Okay. We're, we're going to do this in English or Chinese? Uh, pardon? Uh, English or Chinese? Oh, okay. Which would you prefer? So, uh, maybe Douxing. Uh, Douxing. Okay. So maybe Chinese is. Better? Okay. Huh. Um, so, um, Stephen uh, Shi Xiaohong uh, is vice president at uh, Chihu, is the famous vice president for uh, its product 360, uh, and it's uh, one of the most interesting Chinese internet companies out there. Um, it's not uh, possible, really, to say uh, to compare it to an American company. You know, right? you often hear the YouTube of China, the Google of China, the Facebook of China. Um, whereas, I think uh, Chihu is. Uh, its own thing. So that means Chihu has its unique features. I think there's no. Uh, would you like to introduce uh, the Chihu business? Actually, Chihu is a unique or special company, both in China and all over the world. Many other companies in China might be actually the copycat of foreign companies. But Chihu, uh, in terms of its history, has a very unique development path. As far as the internet, uh, we actually started or entered the market in the field of um, internet security, as we know. Internet security has a history of around uh, 20 or 30 years. So technically speaking, or in terms of its business model, it has not changed a lot or it hasn't undergone some innovation, but with the development of uh, internet, the daily life of each person were on the internet. So there are increasingly more personal information like your account and your access are processed on the internet and spread on the internet. So under such circumstances, the security has become a very important issue or many people might face even more threats. Ten years ago, maybe we can see the a virus on the internet in China has exceeded around 10,000 kinds, but the viruses we collected on the internet actually exceeded around a million or tens of million times. So on this occasion, the original technology or business model actually cannot uh, adapt themselves to the new situation that is increasingly more threat on the internet. So from this perspective, Security has become a um, infrastructure or a uh, universal infrastructure or basic need for internet. And in the future, with the increasing usage of uh, mobile devices and iPad as well as the opening of the Android system, I think. The security issue will become even more important. And uh, I do not see that there is a situation that security can be solved in the short term, in the, in the near future. So I think security is also the basic need for the users or clients. Actually, all over the world, there are great internet companies like Google. They actually started from satisfying the basic needs of the users and then tried to explore the markets and accumulated a lot of the pool of customers. 
monetization 的这种方式，去实现商业化。Which might actually, uh, use monetization to to go commercialize. 那么，但是这个跟原来传统的这个 Internet Security 这个行业。And this is actually different from the traditional internet business. Because traditionally, we actually sell the license fees in order to develop the company. But now we have actually reversed the trend. Or tradition. Maybe later on, I'll go into detail on this aspect. On how to how we make innovations on this aspect. Well, please. I'm also very curious that Chihu、um, is actually free of charge. This story might be a little bit interesting because at first we were worried. We were worried. How to convince investors? 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 But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been something that we have been working on. But security, this has also has also been But、uh, the traditional ones will actually focus on the back-end services. They actually operate backstage, so there are no exchanges between the、uh, developers and the, the users. And most of the softwares are very complicated for some professionals or experts. But we can see that, for example, for Apple products or take another example like、uh, the products of Apple Store. They actually have made some innovations in terms of the user experiences, and we also share the same idea. We would like to make the ordinary users to use our products very conveniently. So the potential user skills can be expanded through this way. So it is no longer an antivirus issue. It is also a privacy for your accounts, your data, and also anything you might access, any link you might encounter during your internet use. So this is a comprehensive need for the users. So how can we solve this? Is a very important problem. And the second. Is the business model, as I've mentioned, we would like to make it a totally free product. I think this for the traditional internet security business is hard for them to make it because given the channels, the technologies, they have to charge certain fees. But now there is a growing tendency that will become free of charge. Third is from the te technological level. As we know, there is exponential growth of viruses on the internet. We have for the scan of viruses by the our software, so we have a cloud computing based system. And this is also a huge breakthrough. We can actually abandon the. Uh, technologies we have accumulated in the past decade. Otherwise, we'll always be a follower instead of an innovator. So we also have our advantages in technological innovation. So this is what we have successfully achieved in the past three years. More importantly, actually, the traditional internet security business, including those um Paris Paris software, there is no large scale. But now, through our products, we can actually 
We can, we now have actually around 800,000 users of our software. So this is the foundation of our company. We have a strong user base. And also it can, we also have a very good brand, which earns the user trust. But this is far from enough, because we do not want our company to be restricted into the security field. As a security company, we have already actually done a lot, and we do not have a money-based model in this aspect. Okay, <laughs> so I, as you do not understand, where does the money come from? As for a security software, it operates backstage. There is no interaction. But uh, the users, as for the search in the internet, some threats are actually emerged from from the so we have the second thing to do is the entrances, like uh, so that is the internet, the internet entrance product. For example, we have the browser, browser. safe browser. Another product is one of the biggest applications store based on PC. So we have the security-based, consumer-based, user-based, they will use our product. So we can influence the users on the entrance of the access to the internet. And now we have a lot of users, and now the browser is actually the second user penetration rate in the IE of Microsoft in China. Around 80% of our netizens are using the our browser. So we were actually turning from a security-based company to an internet company. But in all our products are free. But we can see the change of business model. And now, we would like to build an open platform based on the current position. We have browsers, which can actually and a lot of users, we can provide all kinds of services and applications for users. Of course, we can monetize the, uh, the traffic of the internet through advertisements, but in the future, we can actually provide more services for our users. So first is to retain or keep our users on our platform, platform and second, through the new products and uh, services, we can keep them. Just like uh, the strategy of Facebook, we will have an open uh, platform. We would like our users to share with their partners. And through this way, we can actually share revenue with other partners. So this is an important business model for Qihu. Last year, I browsed a lot of headlines for IT. And uh, there is a lot of uh, saying that uh, 360 is competing against uh, Qihu, so how do you do this? Actually, this story has already come into an end. In essence, I think it is more kind of a business competition. It's hard for me to... Comment on whether who is right or wrong in terms of competition, but I think the fundamental reason should be different. For example, actually we do not have competition with Tencent, but from the perspective of Tencent. They are also very great company. We can see it has this software like QQ, that is a desktop operation. Through this, it can influence the users. Very conveniently, while 360, 
is actually another type of platform. So in terms of competition, Tencent would not, not like to see 360 developing the similar products. Because uh, they would also like to have a package of uh, security software in its services. Um, the last question, uh, does Qihu have any plan to go global? We do have such a plan, and we also have it uh, stated in our IPO uh, statement. In the security field, it do not have a close relationship with languages or culture. So we need to globalize the technology. I think this is quite likely and possible. And also, in other places all over the world, there are similar situations like in China, like they have a large population, uh, internet developing fast, and the uh, income of the users is not so high. They would not like to pay for the antivirus software. So I think this is also the opportunity for us. And now we are actually Trying to approach this market, but so whether you can succeed or not, I think localization is very critical. So now we are now focusing on the domestic markets as for international or overseas markets. We'd like to um, do it through cooperation with our partners. We'd like to actually uh, settle the community in our markets through technology. Do you have any specific targeted cooperation partners? But currently no exposures, but I've mentioned we will first try to look at the markets with similar situations in China. Thank you, Stephen.